Hey there, welcome back to the channel, and I am on the moon. Just kidding, this is actually one of those soundproof wall things. No more boring white wall. Here we go. So if you are a subscriber to this channel, I am sure that you enjoy laughing. Therefore, you're a fan of comedy, as am I. So this video shouldn't be too irrelevant for you. Here we go. Let's dive into this. My wife got into performing stand-up comedy a few years ago, and I can't take it anymore. Oh my god. Oh boy. This is going to be a tough discussion here at the dinner table. Let's see what they gotta say here. It's to the point that I made up a work emergency tonight so I could skip out on the show she's in. Mm. That's tough. Feeling wildly guilty right now because I've never lied to her about something like this before. Majority of the time, the only laughs she gets are from her fellow comedians also performing that night or from friends slash family that she brings. She has an Instagram specifically to her stand-up and she is constantly engaging with the trolls even though I tell her not to. Yet right then and there, if you're someone that constantly feeds into hate or drama or someone trolling you, you're probably not going to make it. In any way, in any successful story, people aren't constantly attracted to negativity. If you're attracted to negativity, they see, oh, we get a rise out of this person. This person responds to negativity. Let's keep being negative. If you're constantly feeding into it like bookie 2988 then you're not gonna make it. I'm rambling. Okay, important point, my wife is freaking gorgeous. So a lot of the negative comments on Instagram are things like, they're only laughing because you're hot. I'm rambling. It's been years and her performance isn't improving. She does mostly open mic or shows with only 15 to 20 people in the audience. She doesn't make money. She isn't taking any one-on-one -on -one coaching or classes like I've gently encouraged. Mm. I just can't keep watching her bomb every other weekend, and I am tired of her engaging with random weirdos on Instagram. How the heck do I tell my wife she's six How the heck do I help my wife improve her skills if she's going to put in the work? I think we've all seen this before. This kind of reminds me of this girl right here. No hate to this chick or nothing. I'm just giving my opinion here. This girl is clearly hot. She's clearly hot. I mean, look at her. Wow, gorgeous. In my opinion, she's just not that funny. Let's uh let's watch let's watch a clip here, huh? Are you guys dog people or cat people? Dogs. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what animal that was. Your dog makes that noise? Can you do it again? <laughs> Are you gonna be the one to murder me tonight? My opinion, I just don't find it funny. A lot of female comedians, and guys do it too, I'll talk about them in a sec, they'll talk about, oh my vagina, oh my vagina stinks. It's a black hole. Or they'll talk like, my dating experience or my therapist my medications i don't find that stuff funny i don't think it's funny at all same thing with guys when they talk about their i got a small penis or i'm really bad in bed or the guys will be like i have a girlfriend and her ex-boyfriend is a black navy seal i cannot compare i think those are hacky cheeky withdrawals that you can quickly put out of your pocket and maybe get a couple laughs because they can relate to it me personally i can't relate you guys like murder documentaries? Yes. I, they make me so anxious. I can't watch them. We we finally um, watched that show, American Nightmare, on Netflix. Have you guys watched it? It's not murder. It's kidnapping. Um, <laughs> which is like murder light. I, I finally agreed to watch it, and of course the victim is just like me. <laughs> She's 29, 5'7", and she has a yeast infection. <laughs> With the, I don't, I don't like the vagina jokes. I don't, I, I will never think a vagina joke is funny. I'll never think a small dick joke is funny. Some people do, but I personally don't. I don't think that shit's funny. Anytime that I've told a girl that, yeah, I'm a comedian, you know, or, you know, I make funny, you know, stuff on the internet, whatever, right? No, no, I'm not, I'm self-proclaimed. I'm not trying to hype myself up or anything. Like, I'm just saying, this, this is, I'm a self-proclaimed comedian. So anytime a chick says, what kind of stuff you make on the internet? I just like comedy stuff, you know whatever. Oh, are you a comedian? I just, yeah, I don't do stand-up. I'm not a stand-up guy. I'm really not that funny. Stand-up is a different beast, right? So I'm, anybody that can do stand-up, my hat goes off to you, but I can still have an opinion about comedy. But anytime a girl asks me that, and that's my answer, she immediately goes, swear to God, it's never failed me once. They always go, I'm pretty funny too. I bet I'm funnier than you. And they like try to be funny. 
and it's so cringe. This is exactly what they do right here. This is 100%. I see this all the time. Do you ever just kind of like... <laughs> That's enough. And let me tell you something. People think that's fun. It's up in the comments. I think I've watched this about a thousand times. Fire. <laughs> oh my god, this classic. Jim Carrey, we gotta get another. Um, laughing faces here. Uh, I, I guess this is... So it looks like this is like Jim Carrey? I think Jim Carrey d did a little bit more than this. This isn't his blueprint. Ah. <laughs> this is annoying. In my opinion, brother, if your if your woman sucks at comedy and she doesn't want to get better, I would have a serious Joe Rogan to Brendan Schaub talk to her, and I would say, hey, I don't think you're cut out for this. All right? I think you're a funny person, but I don't think that you have the storytelling skill set to get on stage to make a group laugh. I think you are a funny person. And it's great to be around you, but I want a divorce right now. No, 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 no. I think the best stand-up comedians, in my opinion, are great storytellers. And they can't just tell a story. They are also characters within this story that you can laugh at them being that character. And they can switch it up on you. It's it's the redirection of the joke. That's, that's textbook five-star comedy to me. I love that shit. Again, comedy is super subjective. It, it really is. It really depends on the person, what they think's funny, what isn't funny. And to me, this stuff just isn't funny to me. I don't wanna I don't wanna sound negative and hate on people's comedy. I'm just I'm just providing a little bit of criticism and saying that that kind of stuff just is really cheap, cheap stand-up work. It's it's really cheap. It's I, I don't like it. I think it's really haggy. I'm a fan of Shane Gillis. He's also made I'm really bad in bed jokes. I don't like it. I just don't. I, I, I never think that stuff's funny. Am I the only one? Am I an asshole? Dislike the video if I'm an asshole. And then like it because I need this video to grow. <laughs> All right, well, hold on. I'm not saying that females can't be comedians and they're not funny. I'm not saying that because I, I know some women that are super funny, like Tina Fey from Saturday Night Live. You got another girl, Rachel Dratch from Saturday Night Live. They were both hilarious. Rachel Dratch is probably the funniest female comedian that I know. She is funny. There's a difference between being the butt of a joke and being the joke itself. And being the joke is saying, hey, I'm a loser, please laugh at me. You are the joke. Being the butt of a joke is somebody like Chris Farley. They can play a wacky character and you're laughing at what he's doing as the character. That's completely different. Everybody on? Good. Great. Grand. Wonderful. No yelling on the bus. All right, let's go. If this video gets a thousand views, I'm sure there's going to be some asshole in the comments. Well, you're not funny. That's okay. You don't have to think I'm funny. Like I said, comedy is subjective. I know there's some people out there that think I'm annoying as hell. All right, let me know what y'all think. I can't be the only one. I can't be. If I am, fuck it. I'm, I'm dying on this hill. And thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.